Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys really in a very basic and simple way how you make a um, how do you make an animation ready cartoon character. All right, um, with Flash, there's certain things that are you know useful to keep in mind. That for one, whenever you're animating, um, especially if you're using symbol-based animation, um, you have to um, have each symbol, if you're using symbols, each symbol should be on its own layer. Okay, so I'm going to show you very quickly, just making a really basic um, character here, how we do it. So let's start making some new layers. All right. Um, so let's say we're going to do a uh, head first. All right. So I'll name this head layer. Well, actually, I just name it head. All right. And let's use the uh, oval tool. Gonna make it empty cell. There you go. All right, and that will be your character's head. So let me make that four. All right, so this is your character's head. Now, <clears throat> first thing you'd make this a symbol. F8, and let's call it head. All right. Now, let's give this guy a torso. So, I'm going to lock this layer, then I'm going to make torso, all right, or body. And let's use the uh, rectangular tool this time. And um, uh, like so, all right. I'm not going to really make much changes to it. I'm just going to do it really simple. You know, so you guys can have an idea of this thing, how this thing works. All right, so let's make that a symbol as well. Actually, you know what, let's line tool. So that will be, you know, where it's basically like the top part of his body. And this will be like his, you know, his butt area. And this will be the upper torso, lower torso. It's going to be just one symbol. All right, so um, uh, we can add something here, like so. All right, so <clears throat> all right, and so let's highlight this and let's make it a symbol. Now it says body. Right, so now we have two symbols so far. We have the head, we have the um, the body. All right, this is the body part. Now let's make his limbs. So let's say we're gonna make um, two arms. Right, so let's make some more layers, two more layers for arms and two more layers for legs, and that'll be pretty much it. So this will be say right arm. Next one would be left arm. Then you have uh, right leg. Then you have left leg. All right. Now let's make the right arm. So pretty much we have. Let's use a rectangle and do something like. Actually, I have the um, snap tool on. Right, making it pretty simple here. So that's the uh, the right arm. Um, I'll copy that because I'm going to use it for the left arm as well. So F8, let's call that arm right. And I I generally you know name them in a certain way just for you know organization's sake. So let's lock that layer. Let's go to left arm. Paste. And now here's his left arm, all right? And let's arm left, all right? So let's make the legs. Um, okay, let's add a little thing on there. Let's 
see it like that. All right, so there we have a foot. I'm gonna copy it for the left one as well. Let's make that a symbol and let's say leg right. Right leg, whatever, I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, paste and let's make this left leg uh, it's freezing up here all right good now <clears throat> it's locked so basically see we have each part of the body on its own layer and this is very important okay because generally when you have multiple symbols on one layer there, there can be complications with animating them especially you know the further down the timeline you are so basically here we have the head um, we have you know each arm and so on now I'm gonna start dropping some color and so you can see some basic things here um, as far as the features for the head I'm gonna make the, um, the eyes nose and mouth within the head symbol and you'll see how I'll do that in a second but for now let's drop in some you know general colors for um, the different parts of the body so I'm going to lock all the layers and unlock the ones I'm working on, right? So let's go into, now I've selected the, um, the body layer, double click to go in, and let's color this guy. So let's make uh, the lower part of his body um, blue as if he's wearing jeans, right? Okay. Um, give him some purple pants. I'm giving him something really odd here. Okay, um, let's make his top uh, it's too much. Okay, all right. So now his upper body is, is up. Now, an important thing I'll point out here is that according to um, the arrangement of the layers, certain uh, symbols will appear above and behind. If you notice, the higher up you go, the more um, forward the, the symbol will be. So the head symbol is highest up the list. So that means it's going to be overlapping every other layer, you know, below it. So the body layer is next, but I want the right arm to appear in front of the, the upper layer. So what I'll do is select the, the right arm layer and drag it above the body layer. I'll do the same thing for the right leg and drag it above the body layer. So now, you notice the body layer is here in the left and left arm and left leg are below. So they appear behind it. See that? So let's just color in the uh, the right arm really quickly. So select that layer, double click to enter it. See now it's she's seen right arm. So that means I'm within the symbol. And let's just color this in. Um, eyedropper tool, pick up that color, drop it in. There you go. Right? <clears throat> and uh, the same for the left arm. There you go. All right? Um, keeping it really simple here so you guys can, you know, get the idea of how this thing works. Let's see, like this, go in. Our dropper tool will pick up that color and drop it. Um, we can make here the shoe be something. Let's say, just keep it simple. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna do the same thing for the left leg. And whether you're gonna use the bone tool or not, this is pretty much how you would set up your character. Um, for animation of course you know the more elaborate you want to be that's up to you but I'm just doing this for simplicity's sake so now we have our character and if you notice to show you that he's ready for animation and and you know individual parts actually this is another thing that's very important um, you're gonna be rotating and moving you know the different limbs of the body so when you select the transform tool and you click on a symbol. See the, the pivot? Right now, if we're gonna animate this leg and you're gonna spin it or rotate it, it's gonna spin about this point. Now, you want it to 
um, rotate from this point where the leg actually connects to the lower body. So before you start any kind of animation, it's important that you select on select all the symbols and place the pivot point to the point where you're going to be rotating the limb from the most. You know, in most cases, I'll you know most likely be rotating this limb from this point. So I'll put it there. I'll select this one, do the same thing. Select the arm, do the same thing. And this arm, do the same thing. Select the head as well. And um, do the same thing. So that means, you know, whenever I, you know, rotate the head, it's going to be rotating from here. All right? So now your guy is pretty much ready to be animated. Um, uh, you know, I won't really go too much into the head, but I'll just drop in. I'll show you how you actually drop the features within the head. So now you guys are pretty much ready to be animated. Um, if you're going to do something with the head pretty quickly, um, you, let's say, use the select tool, click on the head. Now I'm inside. What you would do is, now this layer is would be the one for the head, the, the shape of the head, right? So we can call this head shape. And then you would create an additional layers for each feature. So say, for example, this would be for the mouth. This would be for the nose, you know, the ear. Um, you could actually have the ear just being placed in the head shape layer because you won't be necessarily animating. You may not be animating the ear so much. So you could have it just uh, be a part of the head shape um, symbol and also just put it in a group so it, you can still have access to move it ind individually. So for example, I'll show you pretty quickly. Um, use an oval tool and I like so and then I can just cut this, right? And then you have the ear. I'll make it a group by using command G. So now I still have, I'm still able to move it around. So there you go. See that? So that's his ear. And I made it a part of the head shape. Now you could put in, you know, then you have another layer for the eyes and eyebrows and so on. And when it comes to making it for the eyebrows and the eyes, you can you can just make um, you can make one eyebrow and then just duplicate duplicate it. All right, same thing for the eyes. You can just make one and duplicate it. All right. And also for the black of the eye or the pupil, you can also um, uh, just make one and duplicate it. And I'll show you how I do that. For example, using the oval tool, that's one eye, right? And then you just make that a symbol. Actually, I'll fill it first. Cancel, fill it, make it white. It's filled. Then make it a symbol, I. Then copy. So copy, paste in place, and then you just drag this across. And there you go. So basically, you have you know both eyes um, right there. But it's, so you can have both eyes in the same layer because it's really a duplicate of um, of the other, right? Each is a duplicate of the other. And then the mouth, you can easily just put a line there. Pretty much that's all you need. Um, then F8, make that a mouth. And that's it. See, it's in its own layer as well. Um, actually, I'll take the, um, the ear group out, and then I'll put it in its own layer. Um, so let's fill this guy in, the shape of the head. So, actually, I'll give him some the black of the eye or the pupils. It's an oval, and so, like so. All right. And then you can highlight that, make that a symbol. Let's call it pupil. And then you can copy that and paste it into place and drag it over. And there you go. All right. So, um, you know. And then he's pretty much ready. Actually, notice the ear. I'm going to um, 
quick and show you a little trick to get that filled without messing with anything. So let's do that. So pick up the color and then drop it in. And I can delete that line. I basically use that line just to enclose the space so the fill could um, could work. Um, so say for example, uh, the good thing about this is that you can highlight all of the features and move them independently. See that? So basically, this is how you could easily do like having say no. You just select all of them. One when one frame would be like this. Next frame would be like this. So it's basically this is him saying sh shaking his head. All right, it's pretty cool. Um, so that's how you do it. Now your character is ready for animation. Notice all the the body parts are in their own layer. You know, and I'll show you just a really quick uh, demonstration. It's just like um, using a transform tool. Which would make the arms like that, like that, like that, like that. The head go down, and there you go. You can even move the whole thing up, just like that. See that? And that's how you do it. Pretty simple.